impulsive spending. So just like when you have closet eaters, they're satisfying themselves. You're trying to fill a void. And that's yes, honestly. Definitely. Okay. So when I spent you all, and let's just be honest, it's because I had so many other things that were upside down in my life. I couldn't just hop on a flight and escape because I had the kids here. Okay. And I work out. So I could only work out so much. I got excessive with the working out and like the eating. I wasn't about to be drinking a ton and doing drugs because once again, I have kids <laughs> and I have to be right. healthy for them. And I did have an image that I had to uphold. So what did I do? Impulsive shopping, spending, emotional spending. And I was just buying stuff. Something happens, I'm going to go buy a purse. Something else happens, I'm going to go buy five pairs of $300 jeans for no reason. Yeah. So those are red flags because there's usually something else that is going on that is making that person spin yeah. like that. And that needs to be addressed. So that's why you have to pay attention. Yeah. To these finances, not just the, you know, oh, we need to be on a budget or what is your credit score? It goes deeper because when you're connected with that person, yeah. whether it's through marriage or it's a, you know, a committed relationship, a serious relationship, that affects you as well. Cause that's the same thing. So that's the that's emotional spending. Mm -hmm. Gambling. Yep. It's all, you know, a lot of that can all come from the same place or whatever so impulsive spending is uh, a problem okay brandon said too much of anything is an addiction 100 percent. and baby look yeah i like money <laughs> you know why because it allows you to do certain things it takes the stress off of you and when i say i like money not, oh, I have to be with a man who makes a million dollars. Not like that. But what I'm saying is that, right. like, I like it. I don't want to waste it. And what really helped me like it more, <laughs> back to this rehab. When I started getting them bills, I was like, that's why I have so much respect for these plumbers, <laughs> these carpenters, and everything. Yes. One is a skill set. But I'm like, oh, this is where the money resides for real. Because people are always <laughs> getting things done to their homes. But it does. Yeah. It puts stuff in perspective. When I start thinking, like, okay, if I go to Starbucks and spend $6 five days out the week. I mean, $6 every day, five days out the week. And you start adding that up. I'm like. Oh, yeah. You know, that yes. that is. That's funny because my sister used to do that and mm -hmm. until she got a Keurig. Shout out to Keurig. But um, right. that's, hey, that's when you I'm start kidding. paying attention to the small things that you have, yes. like that you do on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis that are unnecessary, even like mm -hmm. subscriptions, like you have all of these different subscriptions. Um, you have your YouTube, yes. you got your Pandora that's um, ad free. And then you got all these different apps on your smart TV that you're paying for, but you, you were mad and cursed out the cable company. But mm -hmm. if you pay attention, you may have that same cable bill that you complained about because you've added all these different subscriptions. Yes. Pay attention to, to those small spendings and see how they're adding up and what impact they are doing towards your budget. It's mm -hmm. crazy. It and really is. that's a is. good thing that couples can do. Say, hey, tonight, let's get a glass of wine. Okay, no, not a glass. Let's get a bottle of wine, <laughs> a bottle of cognac, coffee, tea, whatever. Make it a thing. Let's both yeah. sit on our phones and look and see what subscriptions we both are paying for or paying for separately or whatever that we don't yes. need. Yes. And get rid of them. And then yeah. when it comes to that little spending, you guys. It'll make you more comfortable too. 
okay, like, hey, babe, what do you spend on? And he can say, like, okay, well, I find myself going to this same restaurant three times a week to grab my lunch. You guys, and I'm not saying because she doesn't cook. Maybe he just likes their food. But you don't need to go three times a week. So he can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go once a week. That's okay, saving yeah. money. And then he can say, like, hey, what about you? I'm just using the Starbucks again. Okay. Yeah. I've been going there after my plank class, my workout, and I've been getting <laughs> the honey oat milk latte. Maybe I'm telling on myself because you know that is a specific order. <laughs> That's my order. <laughs> That's your order. And I'm going there and I'm okay. spending, and I'm like, I have a Keurig at home. I drink coffee before I leave to go work yeah. out. Yeah. I don't need to not get this, but I don't need to get it three and four times a week because I'm right. getting the extra stuff or I'm getting the big size. I'm spending between 45 and like 50 right. plus dollars a week on a coffee beverage. There is no need. Yeah. So it can be like, say, hey, now I'm going to get that once a week. The extra money that I was spending on unnecessary mm -hmm. Starbucks drinks. And then, babe, the money you're spending, you know, getting this lunch from this restaurant, you know, $40 three times a week. We're going to take this money and put it in a pot and see how much we can right. save and put it towards whatever we want. Because that's another thing. Right. It feels good when you can enjoy the money together. Together. So, yeah. Let's put that towards, you know, us going to Bali or something and see how much we can yep. save. I think that's smart because it's not like you're bringing the hammer down and saying, no, all you can do is drink water. You can only eat at home. You can only watch movies at home. I mean, whatever it is. Yeah, because you want to you wanna be able to enjoy life outside Yeah, you should, home, you should be able right? to enjoy so. life. Yeah. Yeah. But, we don't have to waste. Let's just be cautious and set a, like, go back to setting a goal. Set a goal. Okay, so really quick. When it comes to that and the spending and just wasting money and all of that. Yeah. Sometimes it's one-sided. And the other person can be looking like, I don't want you spending my money. I want you to spend your own money like that. Not that you can't spend mine. But you wasted, <laughs> you know. I don't want you bringing down <laughs> right. my savings. <laughs> or, or if it's somebody who is more financially responsible, and let's mm -hmm. say they get with somebody who is not as responsible, or both people are responsible, but you want to protect yourself. How can you protect yourself financially when you're in a relationship? So Without, certain type of relationship, you know, it, it, it depends. So with marriages, you know, there's talk about prenups, right? So that's a whole agreement of right. what I come with and what you come with. When we split, you know, we're protected. I have what I had. You had what you had. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the case is, whatever you put right. into that, that prenup, right? And then you have the joint account. Mm -hmm. So with joint accounts, that's when we talk about credit, of course, that joint account both social security numbers are tied to joint accounts. Right. So you're both going to leave with whatever that account is, that mm -hmm. debt. If you, if it ends up in debt, you're both leaving mm -hmm. with it. You both, that's right. a half and half situation, right? Um, sometimes there's the AU. If you have a credit card and you put me on it, you can actually put a spending limit on my side. So I'm not maxing out. If you don't trust me, yes. or you feel like I'm an overspender then you could, you can set that up for me to spend, say, um, she can't spend over $50 on, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So and those are all ways that you can protect yourself financially using credit cards and using your, your income, your finances. So mm -hmm. those bank accounts, those joint accounts, you know, limit access. Um, if you feel you need a prenup in a situation, you came with a lot and this relationship is new and you feel like, well, I wanted my 
family to have and reap my rewards. Hey, you know, every situation is different for people, but mm -hmm. I mean, those are options that you do have. Mm 